Hello everyone and welcome to Intuitive Art Mediums. Thank you so much for joining me for this collective reading for the Autumn Equinox or Maybon. This is when the sun enters Libra. We have 12 hours of daylight and 12 hours of nighttime. Everything is equal and balanced and Libra rules the seventh house of partnerships, relationships. So this could be romantic energy. This could also be uh, working through relationships that you have with family, friends, and people you work with. So let's get into this reading for you. And let's find out the main energy here. And we have Jupiter with abundance. Now, some of you might be experiencing your Jupiter return at this time. That just means you'll have a greater impact in receiving abundance. Now, this could be abundance of whatever it is that you've been working on. You're beginning to reap what you've sown in the springtime and you're receiving rewards and benefits because Jupiter is the beneficiary planet. So let's see what kind of magic is coming into your life with this abundance. Maybon, autumn equinox is a magical time. Okay, that card went flying out. Let's see what we have. Oh, look, love. Okay, with number one, Aphrodite, I call to thee to bring a true love here to me. Well, that fits Libra season perfectly because Libra can be very romantic. Okay, let's see what your next card is here. And we have healing, an abundance of healing with number 29. Candle flame, burn this hour. Bring to me your healing power. Okay. And for those of you who are healers, perhaps you'll be getting an abundant amount of customers who are in need of your healing. But be sure that you balance your time and energy so that you give yourself the healing power that you need so that you can channel that healing power onto others who come to you for healing. For those of you who have been feeling a little under the weather, this is a call to bring healing to you. Pay attention to what needs healed. This is the partnership, the relationship that you have with yourself. Okay, let's, let's see what's cooking in the witch's kitchen. Because as you know, it's a great time for using your harvest and cooking and canning and baking and making all kinds of goodies for the people you love. And these can be healing goodies that you make for those that you love. And this will also increase your abundance. Okay, and we start with the rose card with romance. What a perfect matching for the love card over here because Libra does rule romance and the new moon in Libra is about a new romance coming your way. This could be an abundance of romance coming your way. Somebody is really showing you how much 
they love and care about you. For those of you who are single, this could bring about um, an abundant amount of suitors. Okay, and then your next card is Honey with Ambrosia. Oh, how beautiful. Nice. And honey, as you know, is very healing. So what a great pairing of what's going on in the witch's kitchen. And underneath the deck, we have coriander with immortality. Because love and healing, your soul is immortal. And when you feed your heart, your love, there's an immortality to that. And the person that's coming to you, that's romancing you, could also bring healing because we know love is very healing. And yeah, let's let's get into some more cards here. Let's get into the tarot and go deeper into this reading for you. I just think this is so beautiful. start with the king of wands that's interesting because the king of wands represents aries and we have the full moon in aries during libra season we have the ace of swords being very focused Three of Pentacles, reaping the rewards in abundance for all your hard work. Okay, then Four of Swords, make sure that you give yourself time to rest for your healing. Maybe make some rose tea, put a little honey in it. And next we have the Knight of Pentacles. So take your time in the romance. You know, don't rush it. Instead, savor it. Okay, let's let's uh, break this down. So we have the King of Wands, uh, inspiration, new ideas, new ways of doing things. Perhaps you're creating. Uh, a way that you do certain things, especially when it comes to healing yourself. Because again, this is ruled by Aries. This is bringing the energy back to who you are, to you. And we have the Ace of Swords. So be very focused on taking good care of yourself. And here you are reaping the rewards for your hard work in great abundance. But be sure that you balance that with rest. And you might want to focus on a kind of meditation. Perhaps you develop a new creative visualization for yourself, for your meditation. And here we have the Knight of Pentacles not rushing anything. He does bring change. This is someone who isn't going to move quickly. They're going to express their love slowly, gradually. Uh, they're going to kind of test the waters. This could also be you too, because this is a general reading and just taking your time. This could also be learning to love yourself, taking care of yourself, spending some time alone with yourself, because here you are working with other people and you might need time to recover from other people's energy. Okay, let's do some more tarot. Okay, we have the Page of Cups, okay, 
having putting a little honey in your teacup for your healing and then look at this we have the king of wands again on top of the ace of swords focusing on yourself and your healing then we have strength this is beautiful on top of what you're doing what you're building it's getting stronger and then we have the five of swords with the four of swords uh this might be a good time to retreat from people who want to be in power struggles because um even though aries loves his power he wants to hold it for himself he doesn't want to share that power and he doesn't want to be challenged he just you know although sometimes he will go out and challenge others so with this aries energy because we do have that full moon in aries um during autumn time you may want to uh if you are struggling in a work situation where there's some power struggles going on at work uh make sure that you take some time out for yourself uh, you know and if you have gained power then you might want to retreat to absorb that power so that you um, can come more into the integration of that added power but again the five of swords does have some power struggles to it and this could also be internal perhaps you're struggling with something within yourself because we do have two king of wands and we have this ace of swords so that is being focused on yourself we have this page of cups um you know with the healing cup and uh so i think that you're doing some healing with whatever you're struggling within yourself this is a general reading so that's why i'm covering a couple different topics here and then we have the eight of pentacles on top of the knight of pentacles this shows Things are going to start moving. You're doing what you love to do. You're, it's almost like, uh, oh, I almost saw some of you might be in like the matchmaking business where you love bringing people together in romantic um, sanctuaries because the Four of Swords is a kind of sanctuary, although it's more to be in solitude because with this five of swords um i think that you need that retreat for yourself to heal whatever battle is going on within your mind because the swords do represent mind and aries the king of wands here he's a great problem solver so he is a great person to have on your team and again you are loving what you're doing uh it took you a little bit of time to find your groove but you're really enjoying it and there could be some romance mixed in with doing what you love to do okay let's draw a few more final messages here for you okay here we have caution tread softly so not as to disturb the woodland floor so be very this could be your healing take it easy don't push yourself that's another thing about the king of wands he just will go and go and go until he exhausts himself and just drops so this is a caution to tread softly and we also have the knight of pentacles over here who's very patient careful where he's going very cautious 
So that I feel it is tied in with your healing. So listen to what your body is telling you and don't be afraid to take the time that you need for your own healing to rest and recover. Okay, so let's see what secrets the witch has to reveal for you. And we have, okay, the threefold return. How beautiful with the Jupiter abundance. Mind the threefold laws you should. Three times bad, three times good. So the law of the threefold return, the witch reminds you that the energy we send out returns to us the power of three. And look, we have the three of pentacles with strength and abundance. So, you know, some of you might have some lessons that you're going to be learning and as they say, you know, three times the charm. But for this reading, I feel so long as you don't push yourself and you tread softly not to disturb the woodland floor, because we do have this five of swords who uh, sometimes cannot be cautious. He's not always cautious because sometimes, you know, he has to take up the challenge to whoever challenges him. And, you know, there's always going to be somebody better than you. And just know that perhaps for some of you, you are letting go of that Five of Swords and retreating into the Four of Swords for your healing. Okay, let's see what... Goddess blessing we have for you to tie up your reading. And we have Parvati. The Hindu goddess of serenity offers you her protection, her grace, and her blessings. She is freeing you from sacrifice and resentment which Parvati's help, you can balance the needs of others with what is vital for your own soul. I think that speaks very clearly to this Five of Swords with the Four of Swords, as well as the balance of Libra, and also making sure that you keep your vitality strong because we have the strength here you still have work to fulfill you have a purpose you are working with purpose and it could be that you're going 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 and then you hit the four of swords you need a rest you need a break and then you slowly get back into it because now you Something has integrated. Something has changed. Parvati has given you some serenity. And now you are loving what you do. So there might be some changes to how you do things, the work you do, or how you're taking care of yourself. I'm going to end this reading here. I hope you enjoyed it. And it gave you some enlightenment for your autumn equinox, Maybon celebrations. Until next time, blessed be.